Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brani and I'm one half of the Indecisive Readers. Today I am here to do a list of book recommendations for the Parthal Pantheon Mystic Reads kind of readathon. Last year I went crazy with recommendations. I think I gave like over 300. I will not be doing that today. I will be given like 30 or whatever the like minimum amount is and maybe it's 25. And a like book for each of those. I don't know what path I'm on so I can't tell you what I'm reading yet. I also don't know you what character if I'm going to follow a character. I'm just wearing this for you know the lols. So this readathon has two kind of versions, two ways of doing it. You can either follow a path or a pantheon. I don't mind either way. I'm just giving you recommendations from the path rather than the pantheon just because that's what came up on my feed first but yeah i'm just gonna start and tell you them now so the first path i have is the beauty path i will put the captains down below and the first prompt is for aphrodite and for a book featuring love i did decide to go down the romance path for this so i chose before i saw you by emily houghton this is one of my favorite books of the year it follows two people who fall in love before they meet because they are separated by a hospital curtain and they just talk that way whilst they're both in hospital i thought it was a really cute romance i really liked how the relationship developed and i haven't heard many other people talking about it so i'd be interested to hear what you thought the next prompt is freya and animal on the cover so for this i'm recommending the raven and the reindeer by t kingfisher this has i think two animals on the cover it has well it at least has a reindeer skull and i think it has I was gonna say a crow but the raven's in the title so I'm gonna say raven. It was the Miss Tate Reads group pick for November and December so if you read it you will have like the kind of old group chat to go back to if you want to talk to other people about it. The next prompt is for Hathor and the prompt is featuring art so for this I'm going to recommend Magic by Angie Sage because it has like little illustrations at the start of every chapter. Charlotte when she created these prompts made them quite vague so you could kind of interpret it any way you wanted so this prompt could include a character that is an artist so paint stuff, it could include illustrations, it could include just something on the top of the page you know for every chapter heading or it could be a graphic novel it's open to interpretation but this is what i'm recommending because i love the illustrations in this the next prompt is for Kijoten and it's a book featuring music. So for this I'm recommending The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Samantha Shannon actually creates a playlist for each of her books so you can read the books with those in mind or listen into those. And also one of the characters, Warden, has a gramophone and he really likes kind of band illegal music and so it does include music in some way. Much like the last one it can kind of be as much or as little about music as you want. This one is very much not about music, it just features it. And so the final prompt for the beauty path is Osan and the prompt is feminist themes. So for this I'm recommending a non-fiction and it is The Five by Hallie Rubenhold. This is actually a, I suppose, historical exploration of the five Jack the Ripper victims and it explores their history, their life, before they were murdered I thought it was a really interesting book. It's one of my like favourite non-fiction books and I think it's a really interesting read. The next path I have is Path of the Home, so this is all your kind of cosy happy reads. The first prompt is for Hestia and it is Fire on the cover or in the title. For this I'm recommending an Ember in the Ashes series by Sabah Tahir. This is one of my new favourite series, I love it so much I binge read it in about two months. Although it doesn't quite include fire, it does include Ember and Ashes and they're both part of the fire, so I think I think you can get away with it but it's a fantastic book it's such an interesting fantasy series and all four books are already out so you can binge read them like i did the next prompt i have is for frig and it's featuring family so for this i'm including house of hollow by crystal sutherland this follows three sisters who a few years ago just disappeared one night they disappeared for a month and then when they came back they had no recollection of what had happened to them but they had like completely changed their appearance they had changed their personality and because of this they have a really strong family bond and the book kind of explores what happens to them but they do it through a family the next prompt is from bastet i think that's how you say and the prompt is for a young female main character so for this i have chosen a middle grade and i have chosen amari and the knight brothers by bb alston this features a young black girl who's off to a kind of undercover spy magical 
mystery training camp it's really fun i really like the characters i liked all the characters actually the side characters were really cool too it was full of so much adventure and so many twists and i definitely recommend the next prompt we have is from kojin and the prompt is featuring food or cooking so for this i'm obviously including with the fire on high by elizabeth acevedo this features a young girl who really wants to go into cooking and so it includes so many recipes so much food but also just general lovely nice vibes and it's a really quick and easy read and i'll probably go back to it at some point too the final prompt for this path is over and it's featuring water so for this i'm recommending to kill a kingdom by alexandra christo this is also a really good one if you want one featuring romance because it's a fantasy that does include a good romance and i think it was well done it centers around a prince who sails and a siren and some mermaids so there's a lot of water the next path is the path of the underworld and the first character we and the first prompt we have is Hades and it's the first in the series. There are a lot you could include for this but I'm just going to mention Malice by Heather Walter which is the first in a duology. It's a queer Sleeping Beauty retelling and it focuses around the dark fairy and a princess that wants to do her own thing. I thought it was really good, I read it the other month and I had so much fun with it. The next prompt is for Hell and the prompt is a book with two perspectives or multiple perspectives if it's got more than one that's fine. The book I'm going to recommend is The City of Brass by S.A. Chapman property because the first book has two perspectives and then the next one has three the last one may even have four so you could read any in that series i really recommend it a lot of the people in miss tate do in fact i think a lot of people just generally do it's a really rich interesting fantasy it is a retelling as well it's one of the earliest ones we read together as a group and it's a very interesting book the next prompt is for osiris and a green cover so you can read anything, but one I really like is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Rosanna Brown. This is also a retelling and it features dancing, so I suppose it features music. The next prompt is for Izanami and it is for a book set on an island. So for this I'd recommend Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. This came out a couple of months ago and it's a feminist retelling of Theseus and the Minor Draw but, but told from Ariadne's perspective. It also features her sister and I didn't know kind of beyond their story but it really goes beyond the like Theseus side of the story and it's so interesting very much like one for fans of Natalie Haynes and also for Madeline Miller definitely recommend it's a fab retelling then the final prompt for the path of the underworld is Oloran and the MC creates something this could be anything from painting writing sewing I suppose even making a baby but that feels like a bit of a reach before this I have included The Hat Makers by Tamsin Merchant this is a middle grade about various families who create stuff the main character happens to create hats or at least her family does that will be her dream once she gets older there are other characters who create watches and cloaks and gloves and things like that things that help people out or don't help people out depending on their purpose the next path is the path of war and the first prompt is for Ares and a dark story. I have kind of twisted it to not necessarily be like atmospherically dark but kind of thematically and so I've chosen the places I've cried in public by Holly Bourne which is trigger warnings about a toxic relationship or someone who has just come out of a toxic relationship and how she is I suppose reflecting on that relationship and how it has affected her and how it's like affecting her moving on it's definitely a dark story I suppose as much as it can be in the real world but it's such an interesting and powerful read and if you are okay with reading that I would definitely recommend it then we have Tear and a disabled MC. I unfortunately have not read as many disabled main characters or just disabled characters as I possibly should have done I don't think they're as available in kind of mainstream literature but also I maybe haven't sought them out and I know there are various types I've read more about mental health rather than physical health but yeah maybe that's something I need to do more of but I have got The Twisted Tree by Rachel Burge which is one I've read it was again an early Myth Tate Reads book definitely recommended it it's a really quick kind of atmospheric low-key horror like I'm not a big horror person but I didn't mind this, I thought it was really interesting, definitely easy to read and it's got a sequel which is already out. Then we have Montu and a book featuring a battle. For this I have chosen A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes, although this doesn't necessarily centre around the battle, 
everything that happens in this book is because of a battle because this is a retelling of all the women at Troy so all the women who were affected by it I think it's everyone but Helen who is the one woman of Troy that everyone seems to know about it's telling about everyone else it's talking about the priestesses the daughters the slaves the goddesses which was a really interesting path I think it has the Amazons coming from a different angle so that was such an interesting take and yeah without the battle it wouldn't be able to happen so I'm gonna count it I think it's okay then we have Matchy Man and featuring archery. I didn't want to just give you the Hunger Games. So I have We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. This is one I need to reread this year, so maybe I'll fit it onto my TBR somewhere. Um, this has an enemies to lovers romance. I think it's a duology where both books are out. The characters and the character dynamics were really interesting and I definitely want to read the sequels so I would recommend the whole series and at least one character uses archery to kind of save the people in her town. The final one for this path is Ogun and a metallic object on the cover or just metallic cover so you could probably get away with some foiling on that but I am going to include a metallic object and so I'm using The Queen of the Teeling by Erica Johansson because there is a crown on the cover although I didn't realise straight away that it's also kind of like a bear trap I think. I'm looking over there. Yeah I think it's also a bear trap which is like clever clever cover design well done there. Then the final path is the path of wisdom and so the first prompt is for Athena and set in a city. For this I'm recommending The Diviners by Libba Bray. This is set I think in New York City, it has been a while since I've read but there are four books in this series and they're all kind of set around New York. It has multiple characters, multiple perspectives so that's another one you could use it for and it has lots of like diverse characters, it's got some black characters, it's got gay characters, there is a lesbian asexual character in the sequel, I love her, um, and she is also Chinese. It's a really diverse cast, it's a really interesting kind of setting and story and it has a lot of mystery, like each book kind of has a mystery for them to solve. It's a really fun book and it's definitely set in the city. The next prompt is for Odin and a morally grey character. For this I have chosen In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. The character in this isn't necessarily morally grey but is selfish and there are kind of less good characters and I suppose she is one of them. She always thinks of herself before others and so that causes a lot of problems for people. To be honest I don't really know what a morally grey character is, I just know that they're not necessarily a good character and she's definitely a selfish character and causes some trouble to the people around her that then reflect badly on her. I really enjoyed this book. The main character is pansexual and she has a female love interest as well as a male undead love interest and all their relationship together is really interesting and it's going to be one of my top books of the year. Then we have Thoth and books about authors or books. For this I'm recommending The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. This is a book about people travelling through books and therefore it is about books. I quite like books about books, I know not everyone does but I enjoyed this, it was whimsical and magical and it had a fun setting. Then we have a Moikine and the prompt is a thought provoking book. So for this I was going to put a non-fiction book but I've actually put Legend Born by Tracy Dion because not only is this a retelling of Arthurian legend but it also kind of explores systematic racism and also kind of like historic racism and privilege. It's such an interesting book and how it explores privilege was just amazing. It stayed with me for so long after finishing reading it and I cannot recommend it enough. It's so good and not only does it kind of flip a lot of conventions on their head, it reuses old conventions but in a new context because the author said so many white authors have done these conventions, these tropes, these I suppose cliches. Why can't a black author do that? And so I thought it was a really good book. The final book I'm going to recommend for the final prompt is Oran Miller and the prompt is Main Character Follows Destiny. For this I'm recommending Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifweko. In this the main character when she's really young is told she has to kill a prince but she has to befriend him and kind of like win his trust to kill him so she has to go on a journey to do this and then I suppose on a journey to defy it when she realises she doesn't want to because like they're friends. And so this does include a main character following her destiny even if she doesn't always want to. Those are all the prompts I have, like I said they are, are all the prompts but not necessarily in all the orders. You can do paths like the way I recommended them 
or you can do pantheons instead it's up to you like i said i don't really know which one i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and work out what books i want to read next month and work out which one they fit best onto if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up comment down below to let me know you're here let me know any recommendations you have yourself and let me know if you are joining in with the readathon and also which path or pantheon you will be joining in with subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in another video